Hi guys, welcome to Football Lions. My name is Rich Man. In fact, guys, there is a huge debate, a huge agreement on social media about just goalkeeping position for next season. So I would like to do the discussion with you today, guys. And this is the information. In fact, Chelsea is selling Kepa Ariza Balaha, guys. As we are speaking now, Ali Itihad came to San Kepa. Kepa excused them, said they should wait. Even information now saying that Al Ita rejected that transfer, that they are not willing to sign Kepa again. So Kepa excused them because Kepa wants to go back to Real Madrid, return to Madrid. Guys, and Madrid is also selling their second goalkeeper, Looney. Remember, he was there with them, semi final with City. So Real Madrid is also selling him. Looney feels that he deserves to be first goalkeeper. So he wants to leave and get playing time somewhere else, or first position somewhere else. So Madrid is also selling him. So Chelsea is selling Kepa, and Kepa want to go to Madrid, and Lunin also want to leave. And there is information that if Real Madrid sell Lunin, they will come for Kepa, or they will go for Kepa. Guys, and here is the rumors in Chelsea camp, or around Chelsea uh, uh, farm base. Here's the rumor. The rumor is that if Lunin leave, Chelsea may sign Lunin. Or if Lunin leave Real Madrid, Chelsea may go for Lunin. And Real Madrid will come for Kepa. And Lunin want to be first goalkeeper. That is why he's leaving or he want to leave Real Madrid. He want to be starting. And Chelsea cannot sign a goalkeeper as we are speaking now. Unless they sell one of our two goalkeepers, Sanchez or Petrovic. So, some fans are saying that then Chelsea should sell Petrovic and bring us Lunin. But some fans feel that Sanchez and Lunin, they are all in the same category. They are, they are all, they all have the same performance. Some are even saying that one season <laughs> doesn't define you as a goalkeeper that Lunin did not perform well at the Euros. And performing well in the Champions League is not enough for Lunin to be called a best goalkeeper or good goalkeeper to come and Ben Sanchez and Petrovic. So guys, that is an argument for now. Some are even saying that then, Jesus should not sign Lunin. Petrovic and Sanchez are enough for us. So guys, this discussion is for you and I. Will you like Chelsea to sign Lunin? And do you think Lunin can bench uh, uh, Petrovic and Sanchez? Or do you think Sanchez and Petrovic are enough? They are okay for this season. <laughs> guys, let me hear from you under the comment section. And all this is happening, guys, because of Mareska. Mareska is possession-based coach. Mareska won a goalkeeper who can build from the back. And it seems he doesn't trust Sanchez that much. Initially, you remember Chelsea went out to sign a goalkeeper. Mama Dashivili name was mentioned. Costa name was mentioned. So many goalkeepers. But Mareska said, okay, he'll work with Sanchez and see. Maybe in the training ground, as they started training, maybe Mareska see that Sanchez cannot be that possession goalkeeper. So as we are speaking now, Chelsea currently or Chelsea uh, is said to sign a goalkeeper. And Chelsea cannot do that, as I said unless they loan one of uh, uh, our two goalkeepers or even sell one of them before they can bring in another goalkeeper. So guys, <laughs> this is a huge debate, <laughs> little bit confusion. So let me hear from you guys, your opinion and your thought about this, our goalkeeping position. Do you think Lunin, Lunin can be our first goalkeeper? Do you trust Lunin enough? And Lunin is 25 years of age. Sanchez is 26. Petrovic is 24, Kepa is 29. And Kepa, where he did his mistake, when the new owner set in, going out on loan, that was where he did his mistake. If it happened that Kepa stay during last season, Kepa will be the first goalkeeper by now. And Kepa, when it comes to food web, he's good. Kepa is good in building from the back. He's good in passing, more than Sanchez even more than Petrovi. And when Kepa was leaving Chelsea, he even said our project doesn't look attractive. So as we are speaking now, guys, Kepa is training separately from the first team. 
in Chelsea training ground. He's not among the first team. So, indeed, Chelsea want to sell him. So, guys, that is the confusion. That is the debate. That is the argument on social media about Chelsea goalkeeping position. So, let me hear from you, your opinion, your thought on this transfer also. Will you let Chelsea to bring Lunin to come and be our first goalkeeper? Will you let Chelsea to loan a Petrovic or sell Petrovic or sell Sanchez or Lo Sanchez and bring in another new goalkeeper? Or Chelsea should keep Petrovic and Sanchez? And if you want Chelsea to sign a new goalkeeper, guys, which goalkeeper are you listing for Chelsea? Or are you bringing to Chelsea? Or if you were being the sporting director to search and get a new goalkeeper for Chelsea, who or <laughs> which goalkeeper will you be signing for Chelsea, guys? Let me hear from you under the comment section. And let's move to the next topic, guys. But before we go there, guys, please just remind you to subscribe. Sub subscribe, please. <laughs> and turn on the notification button. So that any time I upload a video, you will be the first person to see it. And please, tap in the like button. Please, at least, 90 let's go do. So that this video will go viral. So please, tap in the like button. And don't forget to subscribe. And the next topic, guys. In fact, Ngolo Kante. Ongolo Kante. Let's read before we come and talk about it, guys. West Ham have approached Ali Itihad to ask about Ongolo Kante as top target as World or and Win reported. So this is reported from World and Win. Direct talks took place between clubs and with player camp. Ali Itihad current position no intention to sell Kante. Considered as key player and top professional. So guys, that is the information about Kante. In fact, where some want to sign Kante or make inquiries about Ngolo Kante. And as we are speaking now, Al Itihad don't want to sell Kante. They consider him as good player, top player. And information saying that even if Al Itihad to sell Kante, Al Itihad may request for 20 million. And you remember, they signed Kante on free transfer. Yes. So even if they will sell Kante, they will still make profit. And guys, Kante is taking 100 million pounds a year in Al Itihad. Yes. In total, a year, he's taking almost 100 million pounds. So for me, I think it will be very, very difficult for Kante to leave. Yes. And he's 33 years of age getting to the end of his career. So now Kante have to make money. And in this case also, Ali Itaha don't want to sell Kante. But we never know. Hmm, anything can happen. They can change their mind. But Kante coming to England or returning to England, I will not like that to happen. Especially in London, West Ham. In London, our London rivals. Kante coming to play against Chelsea. No, 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 no. The way I pray... God accepted my prayers and Thomas Tuchel rejected Manchester United. The same way I'm praying today, guys, to my village gods, to make this transfer rejected, abolished, <laughs> so that Ali Itiha refused to sell Kante. Because I would not like to see Kante playing against Chelsea. Because Kante won everything at Chelsea. He won the Champions League. He won... Uh, 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 he was there, there. Yes, Europa League. Kante was there, 2019. He was there. He won FA Cup. He won Premier League, Premier League with Chelsea. Yes. The only cup Kante didn't win with Chelsea is Carabao Cup. The fucking shit Carabao Cup. We went to the final twice. All against Liverpool. Yes. And we could not win it. I hate that cup. I hate it. And I hate Wembley. As a Chelsea fan, I don't like to hear the name Wembley. Nowadays, we, are, we don't have a single lack in one blood. I don't understand. Is it a tradition now? Oh, God. In fact, any time Chelsea go to one blood, even against Leicester City, at the FA Cup, we could not win it. But we can beat any team and go to the final. They should change it. Or any time Chelsea reach Carabao Cup final or FA Cup final, they should change the location. We don't want one blood. And we don't want Anthony Taylor. So, guys, West Ham make inquiries about Kante. They want to sign him. And for me, as I said, I will not let Kante to even venture or near to uh, uh, London, except he's coming back to Chelsea. Like the way Hazard came back, do his advertisement and help Chelsea GC. 
to buy. That is the only form I would like maybe Kante to come back in the future. Or being among the technical board. And can Kante be a coach? <laughs> can Kante be a coach? Kante, Kante doesn't talk. <laughs> but France, he always be their captain. So <laughs> Kante being a captain in France, he can be a coach. So guys, that is the latest information for our legend, Ngolo Kante. Where some want to sign him, but currently Al Itaha don't want to sell him. Guys, so that is it. So let me hear from you under the comment section about this transfer. Would you like Kante to come back to Chelsea? Let me hear from you guys. And guys, another information saying that Chelsea want to loan Leslie Okuchuku. Yes. And Chelsea want to send him to a Premier League club. That even makes me happy. I said it already. If he will go out on loan, Chelsea should make sure that he remain in the Premier League, play in the Premier League, have the Premier League experience. Maybe next season, he can come back. Yes. So guys, Information saying that Chelsea to send Lesel Okochuku on loan to any Premier League club. That name or that team name haven't revealed. If anything happened about it, I will update you also. And it's good because in our midfield, we have so many players there. Yes, we have so many players. Lavia is back from injury. Kaisaido is there. Enzo is there. And who is that? Uh, uh, Galaga is there. Keenan is there. Yes, so it will be hard for uh, 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 Leslie to get that playing time he wants next season. So it's good move. And I am even happy Chelsea is not selling him. I didn't hear about selling. I only hear about loan. And it's good in the Premier League. So guys, that is the latest information for Leslie Okuchuku. Chelsea want to send him out on loan to any Premier League club. The decision Chelsea to take to send him out on loan, do you like it, guys? Let me hear from you under the comment section. Kukurela. Kukurela, guys. In fact, Kukurela fulfilled his promise. Kukurela said, when Spain win the Euros, or when they win the Euros, he's going to dye his hair or hairs. Is it hairs or hair? Red. And in fact, Kukurela really delivered. He delivered his promise. Kukurela dyed his hair. <laughs> guys, that is what you are seeing on the screen. Kukurela changed his hair color to red. In fact, do you like it, guys? Kukurela look like Sister Mary in my area. Or Sister Auntie. Or Sister Gifty. <laughs> oh, Kukurela look like a model. In fact, it's good, it's good. It's good. But Kukurela, the hair. The day I told Kukurela would baba this hair. You remember Chelsea Totam? They pull his hair and they use that corner and equalize our go under Thomas Sukul. That day, I told Kukurela would baba this hair. <laughs> But since that day up to now, <laughs> Kokurai refused to bother that hair. I never trust that Kokurai will ever bother this hair. <laughs> yes, and the hair make him unique. Anytime you see that hair, you know that you are seeing Kokurai. I like it. It's good. So guys, that is Kokurai hair. He changed it to red. He may bring it to Stamford Bridge or even start the season with the hair. So guys, that is a <laughs> new hair of so guys, that is the pictures you just see about Kukurela. And guys, Cole Palmer, irrespective of him not joining the first team to preseason, for now, Cole Palmer is in the house. Gym, doing training every day. Palmer is in the gym, the gym room. Even if Palmer is to sleep. He will make sure that he, he keep himself fit. He keep his shape in form before he, he go to bed. In fact, every day I'm seeing new pictures of him training, training. And that is how good players do. I remember during the days of Cristiano Ronaldo, the young Cristiano Ronaldo, he was training every day. And if you want to be one of the best players in the world, that is how you're supposed to be doing as a player. You have to be training consistency, consistency in training. So that it will keep your body, your, your shape fit. So guys, that's the pictures of Kolpama you are watching. He's training every day. He's training every day. I said it. Kolpama is bringing Ballon d'Or. Kolpama is intelligent footballer. Kolpama is fantastic player. In fact, guys, I can't wait to see Kolpama playing for Chelsea again next season. He's training every day. And maybe next month, Kolpama, Enzo, Kokorela, and Galaga will join Chelsea first team in preseason in the United States. So guys, that is a picture you just see about uh, Kulpama also. He's training every day. 
So guys, let me hear from you in all the transfer that we discussed today under the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe. Let this video to go far. At least 90 let's go do. And please, let's reach 3K before this month ends. So please, if you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Peace.